quick Python tips. In this short, I'm going to show you two things that are really helpful. One is how do you import a file that isn't a CSV? In this case, it's a PSV. What does that even mean? And this file is really large. It's like one gigabyte. And I want to see the first few rows to get a feel for what sort of data I'm working with. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to import pandas as PD. And what we would normally do is we would do something like this. We'd say DF for data frame and we'd say that's equal to um, and we'll say that's equal to PD. So that's pandas, right? Right here, uh, dot read CSV, which feels a bit weird because we know this is a dot uh, PSV, but that's okay. Hang in there. And would say something like file name. If I was to run that, I'd get an error because it's going to say, where's all the commas? This isn't working. This is not what I was expecting. So what I could do is I can actually add an additional uh, argument here and I could say something like, the delimiter, okay, delimiter is equal to, and I could pass in what they call a pipe, which is this one here. Now, if I shift enter on that, that's gonna load the entire CSV, or this case, PSV, into RAM. I just wanna get a feel for this data. I just wanna look at the first, say, 100 records. How do I do that? So what I could do is I can stop this, and I could say something like chunk size, and we'll just make chunk size equal to 100, get the first 100 rows, okay? And we're gonna call this one chunks what have i actually done here so i've created something called chunks what is that so chunks is actually a generator so a generator yields this generator will yield 100 rows of the entire data set every time we ask for it first 100 next 100 next 100 and this is really useful when you've got massive data sets that just won't fit in ram so what i could do with that information is i could say something like for chunk okay for chunk in chunks and I can say data frame is equal to, uh, and I'm just gonna call it chunk for now. We don't have to, we can say something, actually we can probably say for data frame uh, in chunks, and now we've got a data frame and I can put the brakes on, so stop after the first iteration, shift enter on that. Now when I ask for my data frame, I now have the first 100 rows. Now this is useful because I might wanna filter on a particular subset of this data. I may not need all 35 columns and I may not need all however you, many millions of rows are in here. So this is really useful to chunk through. And when I'm inside this loop, I could start to filter that. And maybe what I could do is I could say something like DFs is equal to an empty list, okay? And then after each set of filtering, I could say DFs.append, okay? And I can append that data frame. And so what I now have is if I was to run this through and do my filtering, I would have a list of data frames. And then what I could do is I can bring them all back together by doing something like pd.concat. Uh, and all of a sudden, I now have a data frame that brings together all those chunks that I've now filtered. I'll create more shorts on this. I'll show you how to go into filtering. So make sure you are subscribed. Drop a comment if this is at all useful. And we'll keep doing some cool stuff with data.